Okay, we're at 18413 Friar Street in the city of Tarzana. Uh, we're here to check the main sewer line. We can't check every single pipe in the house. You have your general inspector crawl underneath the house. Make sure all the plumbing is done correctly and have a look at uh, run all the sinks. Make sure everything's draining correctly. We're here to check the main sewer line. Now we're running the camera from a three inch end of the line clean out on the right hand side of the house right near the crawl space access. Uh, right now we're all the way at the city connection in the middle of the street, approximately about seven feet deep. There's the city sewer floating by. Let's bring it back very slow. Now there's a clay pipe here, keep coming. And right at the city connection, stop. You can see it's slightly cracked. Now it's common to see slight cracks in the clay pipe. Um, minor roots but you see right there it's slightly cracked right at the eighth bend where it turns into the city sewer let's keep coming back slowly there's very minor roots in the six inch clay pipe look in my opinion minor cracks minor roots that's very common in the clay pipe still six inch clay pipe coming back you can see it's pretty clean the only thing is that slight crack right at the end there. So far what I've seen in the clay pipe. Still six inch clay pipe coming back. Minor little roots coming in through the joints. Okay, we're gonna come onto the properties, transitioning here, stop. From, from six inch to four inch clay pipe. Let's keep coming back. You're gonna see some more roots in the four inch. You can see coming in through the joints. This is, like I said, very common to see roots coming in through the joints, especially where two pieces of clay pipe meet. You can see roots coming through the joints there. Roots there. We're definitely going to recommend a clean out to be installed in front of the house so you can service this main line going out from the house to the street because it would be uh, almost impossible to clean it from this clean out here and we'll explain why when we come back. You see roots here. Okay, keep coming back. Now, these roots are not at any point of blocking the line. You can see the line is functioning. Okay, stop here. Okay, so here we go from a ca uh, clay pipe 4 inch to a cast iron pipe. This is the original cast iron pipe underneath the house. We're going to have a good look at it coming back because when we were going in, we were running water, so I didn't really have a good look at it. So we're going to come back now. Let's come back nice and slow. You can see it does have some rust buildup, minor grease buildup. It's still round. Um, looks like it's in pretty fair condition probably needs a good servicing you can see the grease buildup in the line wouldn't be a bad idea to put a two-way clean out when you install the clean out in the front so you can service the line uh, going upstream worst case scenario you can always run a blade through this three inch clean out that's on the side of the house you got to be very careful when you flush down the toilets no baby wipes no paper towels no tampax those kind of things can get caught in the cast iron pipe but the cast iron pipe is still round it looks pretty good. There's no uh, valley in the bottom. Basically, when the cast iron pipe gets old, it creates a valley on the bottom and you see water standing. Okay, so now we're transitioning to ABS plastic pipe. This is all in good condition. Overall, uh, the lines look pretty good to fair condition. Um, definitely gonna recommend to install a clean out in front of the house. Uh, we'll also note that uh, slight crack right at the city connection, which in my opinion, I don't think is going to be an issue. Um, there's no roots coming through, so but we'll note that on the report. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we'll stop the recording here.